All right, it's like 9.30 this morning. Let's see if we can get on some of these smallies with this little mini chatter bait here. I just have a little Berkeley minnow on there. I forget exactly what it is. I have the pack in my bag. Good thing about this little chatterbait too is it goes through the grass pretty good. Like all this river grass that grows up in the summer. It's not too heavy where it gets way down in it either. I think this is only like an eighth ounce. And they're hard to find, but if you find them, pick them up, just throw a different trailer on it. They work really well for smallies. Time of year, pressured river that shows That's some bite. Might have to downsize to something slower, something smaller, too. A fish, oh, stick. I say that's a fish, that's a good fish. We're gonna try a different approach here. We're gonna use the magma leech. Try this. I've thrown this color a couple times, and honestly, I lost more baits than I caught fish on. So, like I said, every time I tried to tie one on to catch some fish, I kept getting stuck and losing them before I could even catch fish. And this is my last magma color, honestly. But we're gonna go low and slow here. Instead of using that chatter bait. And I have it paired with a 1 8 ounce sled jig by North Branch Tackle. all these little minnows looks like some, some bluegill too against the bank which is good the smallies will come up come up feeding against the bank then I really like how bright that tail is and as I can see it in the water it's really sticking out but I feel like it just gives it a little bit more of a focal point in the water too for bass, key in on, they can see it farther away. Oh, nice. I just picked it up while I was dragging it on the bottom. Soft as hit. Not bad one. Respectable size. That's the first one on the magma. Get this guy out. Let him feed up on some more. Hopefully find some more of his friends out there. 
looks nice on there. Yeah, I was just pulling that real slow against the bottom. I thought it was kind of hung up on a rock. And I lifted it up and it was that smally. It just kind of slurped it up. All right, I 100% feel like there's a fish freaking smally in this area. So I'm gonna use this little chatter bait, try to get a reaction strike even though they didn't bite that little, that little magma leech. And the water does have a little bit of stain to it, so. A little vibration should help. There we go. Should help find some of these fish. Ooh, little bumper. I figured there was one around here. Open your mouth, bud. There you go. So even though they didn't eat the leech, sometimes you just switch your bait up. But even though that, that leech has a bright tail and some bright colors, there's really no sound or anything to it. And this is going to help them locate it a little bit better. The vibration, a little bit of flash too. guy caught in that little current break right there it's tiny barely even lip them to get it out there in the middle in that other current break and did found this guy there we go a bad one good healthy one But yeah, so there's current coming down this pier, current coming down on that side of the pier. And then right in the middle, it's pretty dead. So I'm trying to cast it in there and just let it fall. My last and final hoorah for the day. Got this chatterbait. Can't get bit on this. I got that magma leech. But I think, I think with this river, all choppy as it is, the wind, it's pretty windy out. I think this, this moving bait might might be the trick but like I said if not we have that little leech I do have this smelt bit off a little bit from all the fish that I was catching I kept tearing it so it's not completely the three inches anymore
Joe. Not the biggest, but. Better than getting skunked, that's for sure. I don't know, dude. Might be a good sign for that evening bite. Hopefully they get a little bit bigger than this guy. I should switch to the leech. Nope. We're chasing. We're chasing some minnows. It's not a bad one. Ooh. Oh man. Got away. Popped right off. Slam away. It's alright. I touched him. Counts. All right, well, I'm going to end the video here, guys, but thank you for watching. I appreciate all the support. Please like, subscribe, please leave a comment, and I'll see you on the next adventure. Like I always say, stay fishing and stay anchored. See you later.